fish is the only living species in family Chanidae. It is urihaline or can live in different water environments, in fresh water, brackish water, and salt water. But they are said to be stenothermic, which means that they can just tolerate limited range of temperature. Among all of the fishes in the Philippines, mouth fish or locally known as bangus is considered as the queen because this species is one of the commonly bought or sold fish in the Philippine market. According to Dr. Wesley Rivera Rosario, the head of the National Integrated Fisheries Technology Development Center in the Gupan City, even before Magellan came to the Philippines, milk fish is said to be already present and usually found particularly in Cebu. But it was 1970s when milk fish farming started to bloom, which helps in massive multiplication of the fish. Milk fish, like any other fish, naturally spawns at night and only in salt water environment. However, with the presence of technology and the continuous rise of human population, advanced methods of breeding has been introduced, which is now the very common method breeders utilized. Basically, milk fish are herbivores with lablab as their main food. Lablab is a type of algae that appears to be like a carpet in the bottom of the pond and sometimes float on the surface when it's too hot, which also enhances the flavor of the flesh. However, many farmers use commercial feeds nowadays and not just depending on natural foods. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, almost all fish farms have implemented even more strict borders. So in this documentary, I visited the BFAR fish yalan in Gelapi Bohol instead to at least observe an actual setting of a milk fish pond. Milk fish is currently being farmed anywhere in the Philippines. Here in Bohol, there are numerous small and large-scale aquaculturists who ventured in this toothless type of fish, either monocultured or polycultured. As of October 29, 2021 survey, the top performing regions in terms of production are the Central Luzon with 55,740.14 metric tons, followed by the Ilocos region with 47,552.54 metric tons, and the Western Visayas with 46,108.95 metric tons. Here in Bifar Fish Yalan, milk fish is just one of the cultured aquatic species, and since it is open for the public for catching, my father and I also tried our luck to get some by using a hook and line. After that catch, we are very determined to get once more so we keep on trying and trying. Since it is about to rain, we decided to go home, but on our last try, luckily, we caught another one weighing 500 grams. Because of its literal bony features, the boning milk fish became famous for some consumers these days prefer to buy a boneless bangus. Being one of the famous fish, milk fish can be cooked into a variety of dishes.